Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Step by Step. Today we're going to descend into some madness and try to make this Golurk deck work. I was really interested in Golurk when I first saw Aqua Patch come out, which may seem weird, but my, my thought was I wanted to see which stage one could benefit the most by being turned into a water type from Vaporeon and then benefiting from Aqua Patch from there. So I found Golurk and thought, huh, Here's a card that is both Psychic and Fighting type, so it has weakness advantage over Darkrai and Mewtwo, although it is weak to Darkrai. Um, also, it can be turned into Water type, obviously, by Vaporeon, so it would have type advantage over Volcanion. Its Ancient Trait ability prevents it from being affected by abilities from your opponent's Pokemon, so Decidueye can't damage it. And it attacks for all colorless energies, so I can use double colorless energy and water energy with Aqua Patch to power it up. So I thought, hey, this might work. And then I saw the scans for Garbodor come out. <laughs> so obviously one energy on Garbodor is way more powerful and efficient than Golurk could ever dream of being, and that's going to make Golurk pretty unplayable. But... I powered through a bunch of different matches to be able to get a video that was worthy of being recorded and uploaded for you guys to see, so you can at least see how this Garbodor deck, or Garbodor deck, so you can at least see how this Golurk deck works. Now you might be looking at it and thinking, huh, this seems somewhat similar to the Garbodor deck because you've got Trevenant in there. And yeah, honestly, this, this deck has a really hard time with a lot of things. Could it maybe beat Decidueye? Maybe. Um, could it maybe beat Mega Mewtwo if you can get out ahead of their Garbodor turning off all your abilities? Maybe. I think it might be able to. Um, can it beat Lapras without Trevenant? No way. No way in heck that it could beat Lapras without Trevenant. So we threw in a 2-2 Trevenant line, and you're gonna see. You're actually going to see Golurk do some work in this video. Um, to help win this match, but you're going to see Trevenant carry a lot of the knockouts as well. So, um, obviously the strategy is to set up a Golurk on the bench and a Trevenant. Um, get your Vaporeon powered up, Aqua Patch to the bench Pokemon, and uh, pretty much just go from there. Try to stay consistent and fast. So, double colorless works on Trevenant, Golurk, even Vaporeon. Um, you can, of course, Aqua Patch to your own Vaporeon. Um, you can, if you ran a fire or a rainbow, you could aqua patch to Flareon if you threw it down. And Flareon's just in there, um, to help with the Decidueye matchup a little bit more. So, I tried this deck a lot of different ways. I tried it with Regirock EX to try to add some damage, um, but that just got super clunky. I tried it with Mewtwo, uh, the regular Mewtwo from the Evolution set. I thought it might help with Garbodor, but yeah, it doesn't at all. So, Anyways, I tried the Mewtwo, I tried the Regirock, and this is just what ended up being the best and I guess most fun variant of the deck. Uh, being able to attack quickly with Trevenant and also power up a Golurk over the course of a turn or two is kind of nice. Um, I think they play kind of well together and it definitely helps in this matchup to have the Trevenant. So, um, I mean, I, I was, I'm happy with it. It's not competitive at all, but it is fun. And of course, that is uh, one of the main points of playing Pokemon is just to have some fun. So... I'm cool with it. We are just getting an Ultra Ball so we can get a little bit more set up. We want to try to get this Vaporeon retreated um, so we can start putting some damage on the field. But yeah, I was super excited about this deck until, like I said, uh, until I saw Garbodor. I thought it might have had a chance, but I definitely don't think it does now. It's kind of fun to play when it works, but... I did trudge through a lot of matches, like I said, to be able to get this uh, this video recorded. Looks like we're not going to get too much going this turn. And I realize I'm playing against Lapras, so it's going to be pretty important to be able to attack with Trevenant before we attack with Golurk. Golurk might take a prize here and there on a Shaman or something like that. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, maybe Trevenant's going to have to carry the... Um, team up against Lapras, and then uh, if Garbodor can take a knockout here and there on a Shaman, if I have the um, Choice Band attached, or on the Manaphy, so you'll see that a little bit later in the matchup as well. Oh, and this deck also struggles with um, 
Lapras if you don't play Trevenant, because Lapras one-shots your Golex and knocks off all your energies. Like, could this deck maybe hang against Sylveon? Maybe, because Sylveon doesn't one-shot you. You can, um, you can two-shot Sylveon, Sylveon two-shots you. Granted, Sylveon's gonna just knock all your energies off. But let's just say you're super lucky and you have a DCE and two Aqua Patch in hand to recover completely on a benched Golurk, and you can retreat your active to go ahead and swing for some more damage. Like, I don't think that matchup is winnable. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's as silly as it sounds, it's not as bad as Lapras if you don't play Trevenant. Um, if you are playing Trevenant, though, the thing about the Sylveon matchup is there's no way for this deck to one-shot Sylveon. So although it's a although Sylveon two-shots you, unless they play the card I just drew, Kukui, which I don't think they will, but um, even though Sylveon two-shots you, uh, it doesn't really matter because you need four energies to attack and, and get the knockout on it. But like I said, you'll see some uh, interesting plays in this match, and we're able to make this a pretty competitive game and actually pull out a win in the end, so I hope you enjoy the video. And I am going to go over the list at the end of the video, just in case you want to try it. Um, I, would, I would recommend it just for fun. And yeah, I don't play any heavy balls simply because I can't search for Shaman and Trevenant and Phantom or Eevee and Vaporeon with a heavy ball. Heavy ball would be nice. If I had a Tapu Lele, I might play one just so I can Lele for Skyla for heavy ball if I absolutely wanted to. Um, but uh, as far as it's built right now, uh, I just didn't see a need for that. Hey, at least we can use Aqua Patch this turn. An Aqua Patch onto our Trevenant. It's kind of cool to be able to do that. It's fun. So right now I'm just thinking, basically I just got to use two Trevenants to knock out two Laprases, save the end so I can make his hand go up to five or six, and then use the Goaler to get a KO on a Shaman. That's the, that's the game plan right now. current format has um, become sort of interesting. Uh, I say the current format, and we're at least a week or week and a half away from Guardians Rising even being legal for standard tournament play, um, but on PTCGO right now, everyone's playing some form of Garbodor, some form of Lapras, some form of Sylveon, and once in a while a Volcanion or a Decidueye. So... <laughs> Uh, it's very, very interesting. There's a lot of stuff out of there, I think, uh, out there that I think people just haven't gotten to yet that's going to be good. Um, I really think we're going to see some surprise stuff that people just aren't thinking about yet. I'm going to try to find some of it and play it for you guys. I was hoping maybe Golair could be one of those options. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be, but that's all right. So here we really need to retreat, so we're just going to manually attach to Vaporeon and play an N and go ahead and start trying to attack. I'm really tired of being put to sleep by Chilling Psy. It's getting kind of annoying. So we play the Trainer Mail, hoping for a Switch or a Float Stone, and we get it. And honestly, attaching that water, that uh, DCE to Vaporeon isn't the end of the world, even though I really would have liked to have just known I was going to get a Float Stone here and save my energy attachment for the turn, because we can always just attach an energy to Trevenant and attack, or... You know, whatever, it's not a huge deal. So we'll retreat Vaporeon into Trevenant. I just end my opponent, so I feel pretty confident in a Poltergeist here. And he has four, five, six. All he drew, <laughs> all he drew is trainers. That's cool. Trevenant hitting for 180 on a non-EX is pretty cool. Of course, Lapras is going to take the return KO, but I have another N in my hand, and I have a DCE, so I can hopefully try to get a KO on the Lapras. And I've got a choice band on the bench Trevenant. So Lapras has 230 HP, so I think if he has... 
what if he has four because four times three is one no no he would if he had three so i would be doing 90 110 20 yeah so as long as he has three trainers in his hands in his hand i'll do um 90 plus 30 for 110 oh no that would be 220 i'm sorry i can't do math um <laughs> no no i would that would be do 90 110 20 yeah that would be 240 damage should get the knockout so next turn when i bring up this trevenant all I need to do is get a choice band and hope he has three trainers in his hand. Or don't get a choice band and he has four. I think that's doable. Hey, and here's another cool thing that we can do this turn. We've got DCE and Aqua Patch in hand, so we can get three energies on the bench Golurk and have it ready whenever it's time for Golurk to attack. That's kind of cool. Another kind of cool thing about this deck is like versus Volcanion. You can attach a DCE and a Choice Band to Vaporeon, and then Aqua Patch to Vaporeon in one shot of Volcanion. That's cool. Does 200 damage, as long as they don't have a Fury Bell, but you can just try to Field Blower it off. At this point, I don't really need the Pokemon in my hand, so I'm just thinning my deck out a little bit and taking a look at what's in there. So we know we've got a Choice Band, of course. And I'm going to play an end, so yeah, that's why I didn't take the Golurk. Hey, we get a Field Blower. That's um, like a that's basically like a mini Choice Band, right? Because it knocks 40 HP off your opponent. So now, to do 190 damage, um, I think he just needs to have four trainers in his hand. Yeah, if we can get lucky and get four out of the five cards in his hand to be trainers, that'd be sweet. So we're just going in, and we've got three. So we do 180. Not bad, not bad. The cool thing about that, though, is um, it sets up for some interesting plays, and you'll see what I mean in a little bit. So he's able to retreat like that, of course, because he has the Mana Fee in play, and Mana Fee can let anything that has a Water Energy attached to it retreat for free. At this point, we have to get really strategic in the match, because I'm going to be left with only a Golurk to attack after this turn. So we really have to start thinking about what we can do to even this matchup. Um, and I want y'all to pay attention to what I do, because I do try to play this next, um, these next few turns extremely strategically to get the game back in my favor. So we're going to try to set up another Phantom. We attach to Golurk, right? And now we're going to go ahead and pull out the Mana Fee. At least, yeah, I I'm going to lose my Golurk, but there's a couple things to keep in mind here. I'm going to Lysander up the Mana Fee so he can't do his uh, 160 in retreat as often as he wants, so that eliminates a core piece of his strategy. And depending on what he knocks my Golurk out with, I have the ability to attach a DCE to Phantom and then go ahead and play my Sycamore and see if I can refresh my hand and get a Trevenant and get the knockout on the Lapras. So, um, we're not in as terrible of a position as it looks right now. And at least we got to see Golurk get one knockout, and that was kind of cool. <laughs> all, the, all the attacking Pokemon in this deck have big hands. Golurk has big hands in his artwork. Trevenant's artwork has him like reaching towards you, so he has big hands. So, this is big hands rogue deck, that's what we'll call it. So we're going to pull out Lysander again. I don't, so I don't have a Trevenant. I think this is the safer play. If I go ahead and bring up his Lapras, attach to Shaman, retreat, and Sky Return for the knockout, not only does this let me reuse the Double Colorless on the Shaman for next turn, I can put it on my, um, on my Trevenant next turn, or my, my Phantom, um, but it allows me to go ahead and get a knockout here and refresh my hand a little bit when I play the Shaman next turn. So, not knocking out the Lapras earlier in the game, obviously it would have been nice, but because we eliminated his Rough Seas, because he didn't draw another one, 
Um, and because I was able to take a few key prizes to get back into the game, now we're just one knockout away from winning this game. And I've got a really nice, fresh hand to be able to help us try and do that next turn. Yeah, um, Broken Heart, getting N, N to 1 is a really good play. So Broken Heart plus uh, Full Heart. I hate it, but I love it. And, you know, look, let if you pay attention to the hand that I had that when I was end in, there was a Via Seeker, a Trainer Mail, um, a Sycamore. I believe there was other consistency cards. So I'm going to be pulling one from the end, then one to start my turn. So two out of 14 cards, or one-seventh of my deck, basically, is what I'm going to be pulling. Um, so, I mean, the odds aren't terrible that I run into consistency cards. I mean, look at the top four. There's a Via Seeker, a Sycamore. There's a Sycamore in my hand. There's a Trainer Mail. There's at least four of the... Oh, we know there's a Shaman in there. So at least five of the 14 cards... Um, or oh, we're getting pretty close to 50%. We're at like 35, 40% of the card of, of the cards in the deck are consistency cards. Um, and when you run into a Sycamore like that, when you've managed your resources properly, um, you'll run into things like this. Choice Band, DCE, Trevenant, Flowstone. Yeah, you can't beat that. Um, so at this point, if his hand, if his hand is full, yeah, <laughs> his hand is full of trainers. So that does 90 plus 30 which is 120, um, note to self, so I don't forget about that math. Uh, and that knocks out the Lapras and we win. So, yeah, Aqua Patch Trevenant, Aqua Patch Goler gets a sneaky surprise win against Lapras. Now, don't, don't be fooled by the video or whatever. This deck is not, like, a sleeper deck to be really good. It's just a fun concept that I at least wanted to show you guys just to help think outside the box a little bit and have fun with a, a, a kind of a different creative idea. All right, so we're going to talk through the deck list real quick. It's a little hard to find space for the deck. We've got a 3-3 three, three Golurk, uh, 2 Eevee, 1 Flareon, 1 Vaporeon, 2 Shaman, um, and then we'll let the video scroll a little bit, and we've got a 2-2 two, two Trevenant as well. Um, taking a look at the trainers and supporters, we've got a Field Blower, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 VS Seeker, 1 Switch, 4 Trainer Mail, 4 Aqua Patch, and a Rescue Stretcher. Um, the Field Blower is not as important in this deck as it is in the Garbodor deck, but it's still important and I wish I had more. But like I said, space is kind of hard to find. Maybe I could drop an Aqua Patch for a Field Blower. Um, then we'll kind of keep going down the line here into the supporters. So we've got one Kakui just for some extra damage. If you can do 120 with Golurk, obviously because it does 80 plus 40 and you do 20 to yourself if you choose to do so. So 120, attach a choice band, um, you're up to 150, and a Kakui can make it 170. So you can get some knockouts on some lower HP EXs. Um, so that's why I think one Kakui is not a bad idea. 3N, 4 Sycamore, N is an important card when you're playing Trevenant, so you can make your opponent have uh, more cards in their hand or a less well-managed hand than the one that they ended their turn with. Just one Lysander, again, space issues, wish I could have had more. Um, three Choice Ban and two Flowstone. That should pretty much round up the trainers and supporters. Um, so not much not much there that uh, should be too unexpected. Nothing, nothing uh, aside from the Golurk line and the Aqua Patch to Golurk and with using Vaporeon. Aside from that, I mean, nothing that's too out of the ordinary. Um, so anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you subscribe. I had to make a couple edits here and there, so that's why the voice is going to sound different. Um, but we did get all of the actual gameplay uh, recorded in properly. So um, thank you again for watching, and when you're playing Pokemon, always remember to have fun.